Honestly, I feel like the title is pretty self-explanatory in this one. I'm pretty much going to be outlining five NPCs in Wizard 101 that I would like to exert my fist upon their brow causing permanent damage. I would just like to dismantle their soul just using some brass knuckles and completely and just utterly destroy like every single facial feature that these NPCs once had. So if you couldn't tell already, this list will pretty much consist of NPCs that were assholes to you throughout the entirety of you meeting them and just their overall behavior, you know, kind of just warrants a punch in the face. I don't know what else to say, man. So with that being said, let us get into number five. Okay, so the first termite on this list is going to be Nolan Stormgate. Now I feel like this one is pretty much a no-brainer, right? You enter Cyclops Lane. Nolan is pretty much the first NPC that you meet here, the little student wizard on top of this little uh, pavilion type thing. And he's kind of just, he's kind of just an asshole. He's kind of just a bitch to you, you know, throughout the course of the Cyclops Lane questline. The whole thing just kind of consists of him trying to rectify his insecurities by taking credit for all the work that you do and just kind of explain how everything that you do in Cyclops Lane to help out all the other people and just really overall help out Wizard City on the, uh, like, head, on the town guard's orders. Yeah, I think it was the town guard that actually sent you here. But, you know, all of that help, all of the positivity that you spread as a result of your completion of tasks within Cyclops Lane, you know, you come up to this guy telling him, you know, that you've that you've done all of these things to, to help out, like you rescued the missing students and everything. And he's like, ah yes, you know, due due to my brilliant planning, due to my superior brains, you know, we accomplished this task, but you know, mainly me, because you could have never done anything without me. Like seriously man, that's just not the kind of attitude that you that you have when you're working with the team, when you're working with the, well, what should be one of your best pals. Me that is me. I was one of his best pals. You know, me and Nolan actually go way back but you know to still just to this very day he's just taking credit for everything he's not giving credit where credit is due he was always like this mother always loved him more he just always wanted to be in the spotlight and it just makes me so angry it makes my blood just boil goodbye nolan and fuck you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't help but laugh, you know, when I'm just faced with such a troglodyte. Duncan Grimwater, oh my lord, dude. This guy is just the absolute worst. You know, you come into Triton Avenue for the first time. I'm not actually sure if this is actually the same, because since they, like, moved around the quest line and everything. But you come to Duncan Grimwater, of course. I think one of the first things that he makes you do is you have to do his homework for him, and then... Really just throughout the Triton questline, he is just overly cocky, much like our dear friend Nolan Stormgate in the last segment of the video. His ego really just does not let up for the entire portion of the Triton Avenue questline. Not only that, but he is just simply a Malastare simp. I mean, the guy is just evil. The guy was willing to destroy the spiral, you know, for just completely selfish reasons. And this guy supported him all the way through and was like, oh, oh Malastare's a great man. Oh, I support him him completely. Oh, I just wish he was still here. Like, holy shit, man. So for pretty much all of Wizard City, Duncan acts like he wants Malastair to kiss him on the mouth, but that's not all, okay? That's not all. It gets worse. So this guy actually does join the Cabal, you know, later on in the quest line, spoilers ahead, but he does join the Cabal, which is literally just the entire, you know, opposite uh, organization of the Arcanum, kind of like the rebels who want to bring back the first world. Basically the bad guys, or at least like the bad guys until Caramel, more spoilers ahead. But he joins them, he joins them, and I believe this is like right before we go to the world of Mirage or something. You know, we actually fight him again, and he's just still as cocky as ever, just rocking his new Darkmoor gear, but then we put him in his place, you know, we finally do put him in his place, which is just super duper satisfying, but I mean, throughout the entire game, of course, it just shows, like, throughout Wizard City, and then all the way up until the beginning of the of Mirage, this guy just hasn't changed at all, just zero character development whatsoever, and, you know, have I said I already don't like him? Have I said that enough? Anyways, let's move on. Next up, we have Scorpion, the most pathetic of all of Old Cobb's children, also definitely 
definitely my least favorite. It's kind of funny, actually. It's kind of funny because, of course, like many of the other characters you will come to find on this list, he is very, very cocky. Throughout the, I believe it's like around the first half of Mirage is kind of like where his main storyline takes place all the way up until fighting him at the North Gate right here. He is really, really cocky. He is really, really cocky, but what is just so funny about it to me is he doesn't really pose that much of a threat to us. I mean, seriously, this guy is extremely, extremely underpowered in my opinion for one of Old Cobb's children. I know that we already defeat him, and yeah, that's another funny thing. We actually defeat him once before in the Barrows in his Xerxes form. You know, we beat him pretty easily there, and then he challenges, as, he challenges us again as Scorpion, expecting to do a lot better, but then he just fails again, and he's ashamed in front of his dad, and I think that's really just hilarious when it, at the end of the day. One thing that I hate the most about all of the unlikable NPCs in Wizard 101 is they truly, truly believe, you know, in their heart of hearts that they can beat us. They, they're they just so hell-bent on destroying us, and they really, really believe they can do it. And Scorpion is really just the cream of the crop when it comes to those guys. He raises an entire army, of course, and then we fight him with a few of his bodyguards, and then just beat him super duper easily. And then, of course, like, shamed, blah, 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 we defend off the attack from Mirage. Old Cobb destroys the army because he just, he, he you know, hates Scorpion even more now. And that's pretty much it. That That's pretty much like the last we see of Scorpion, at least until Imperia, when like him and his much more likable brother, the rat, team up to try to beat us. But then, you know, they're both proved to be pretty, pretty weak, you know, when compared to our amazing prowess as a wizard. So Scorpion's just a really, really sad, pathetic character, in my opinion. But then when you couple his very, very very unlikable ego that he has just really makes me want to punch him in the face. Next up on the list we have a Randolph motherfucking Spellshine. So what I really hate about this guy, and you guys can probably tell by now, right, with the, you know, Nolan Stormgate, uh, Duncan Grimwater, Overlord Xerxes, and now Randolph Spellshine, that I'm not really the biggest fan of super overly cocky and egotistical characters within this game. But I feel like Randolph takes it to a whole new level, because Randolph, you know, he thinks he's just so good at magic, he thinks he's just so high and mighty and better than everyone else that he doesn't actually have to conform to the rules of the Pigswick Tournament. And, you know, that really, really pisses me off because he goes about, you know, cheating in pretty much every single tournament battle, or at least I assume he cheats in all of them because, you know, he cheated in ours and ours was the finale after all. I'm just going to assume that it's pretty in line with his character, you know. And he just doesn't need he just doesn't need the rules. He says so himself during the quest line when we actually like give him the rule book or whatever happens right there. So it just really bothers me that he just cheats. He just cheats in all the duels and just still thinks of himself as the best wizard in this tournament. It makes absolutely no sense to me. He's just got like this huge god complex and it's just absolutely unbearable to bear witness to. And finally, last but not least on the list, we have our very own myth professor Cyrus Drake. Now a lot of you might actually give me some flack for actually putting him on the list, but the reason why I'm doing it and the reason why I think he deserves a little punch in his old noggin there is because he actually tries to expel us from the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. Now, this is just unnecessarily cruel, even for Cyrus, because I'm pretty sure, like, during the, I think it's during the Cyclops Lane quest line where he actually does try to expel us, and I'm pretty sure it's actually after we take out his laundry or we, like, take his laundry or we like I think it's we get his laundry from another person and like bring it back to him or something like that. Look at look what he just did to me, dude. That was just that was just disrespectful. But seriously, we really just do a daily household task for him and he still has the guts to actually try to expel us and really for no reason. We have been nothing but kind and respectful to this man throughout the whole Wizard City questline up until this point. There's just no reason why he should have tried to expel us for him for him to like warrant something like this. It just makes absolutely no sense. He was probably just having like a really, really bad day and decided to take all of his anger out on us. But you know, as a teacher in a professional position, I can't allow that to happen, man. Or at least I can't allow that to happen going unpunished. So I'm going to go ahead and bonk Cyrus right here. But that's pretty much going to be it for the list, everyone. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you could always leave a like on the video or subscribe. It would just mean the absolute world to me. So yeah. Anyways, though, I will see you all in the next video or stream, whenever that may be. Once again, I hope you did enjoy the video. Videos like these are actually a fan favorite on the channel, or at least it seems that way. So, nonetheless, though, I do hope you did enjoy.